Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. So good day again. So today we will be discussing about polynomials. Polynomials are just simply um a multi term, or we can also say a singular term, um algebraic expression. So remember that we have discussed algebraic expressions. These are just simply expressions with firstly we have the variables. We also have the numbers then we also have the operations okay so we have these things combined together creating a singular term okay and of course um in each term they would be composed of two things composition is two things we have the numerical coefficient and then the literal coefficient okay all in all when you combine these different terms you will create a polynomial okay so polynomials would come in different um cat, uh, categories when it comes to variables okay so for now we will be discussing polynomials in no, polynomials in one variable okay so we will be discussing polynomials only with x no other variables that we um that will be available okay so, firstly, how can we classify a thing or an algebraic expression as a polynomial? Because, of course, I can say that this one is an algebraic expression. Okay, this one is an algebraic expression. But this one is not considered as a polynomial. Yes, this is an algebraic expression, but not a polynomial. Okay, in what cases can we consider a given or an algebraic expression as a polynomial so firstly we have this certain restrictions we have the restrictions restriction number one okay and again we are we will be dealing only with the va with the variable x okay the very first restriction would be the exponent should be a whole number or basically if the exponent exponent is fractional or it's a fraction is a fraction para mas madaling intindihan okay is a fraction then it would not be a sabi ang sabi niyan is not polynomial let me undo that magiging circle okay not polynomial so for example we have 2x plus 3x raised to 1 half okay this will not be this would be automatically not a polynomial because of this fractional exponent because of this one if in any given in your polynomial or i mean in your algebraic expression if in any part of your given there is a fractional exponent or the exponent is a fraction then automatically it's not polynomial okay that is the very first restriction the second restriction is that the variable if the variable oh, sige, wait lang. let me change that if the exponent along para we are similar if the exponent is a radical okay or as we call it still fractional exponent yan under fractional exponent but there is a symbol for radical. So what do I mean by that? So if you would be, by any chance, you will see this one. 2x plus 2 square root of x. Okay, Automatic, this is not polynomial. If you see this symbol, okay, that's not the division sign, that's the radical sign. Okay, And it would also go the same as you have 2x plus square root of 2x. Okay, long as you see that, this one, enclosing a variable, then it is not a polynomial. So, sir, if you would ask, sir, what if we have this one? The square root of 4, x plus 2. Long as the radical will not go up to here, then it's still safe. Okay, this one is a, wait now, sorry polynomial okay polynomial 
Okay? Again, the restriction would only go to the variable. Okay? The variable only. Sorry. Okay, guys. It's only for the variable. As for the, the number, it's okay. So, this would be, let me just clarify this one. Let's move up a little bit. This would be restrictions for the variable. Okay, just to be clear. Okay, and then last restriction for the variable is number uh, number three. Okay, last restriction is the variable is on the denominator. Okay, if your given would be like this, you know the denominator is just the the bottom part of the fraction. Okay. So, say I have 2x squared plus um, 1 over 2x. This is automatically not polynomial. Why? Because we have this x in the denominator. Okay? x in the denominator. Okay? And why is it not allowed to have that? Because um, basically in, in math, okay? It's not okay, it's not okay to have negative exponents, okay? Because this is this would be a subrule of this one, okay? No negative exponents. So if I would have say 2 raised to negative 2 uh, 2x raised to negative 2 this is automatically a not not a polynomial, okay? So we cannot have fractional I I mean denominator for the variables and we cannot have fraction um, negative exponents for the variable as well okay these are again guys restriction on the variables and not on the numbers okay why 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 because on the numbers we can evaluate immediately for example i have this one again diba i told you guys that it's not okay to have fractional exponents right so 4 raised to 1 half is actually equals to 2. So we can evaluate because it's a number. But we cannot evaluate x raised to 1 half. We don't know. Next one, we cannot have um, radicals. Square root of 4 is still equals to 2. But square root of x, we don't know yet. Okay, so we cannot consider this one as under uh, no, uh, a polynomial. And of course, we have um, negative exponents or um, there are fractions. So, for example, I have 1 over 2. This is equal to 0 0.5. But 1 over x, we don't know yet. So, we cannot consider this one as under a polynomial. Because if you try to express this one as negative exponent, this is equal to 2 raised to negative 1. And this is also equal to 0 0.5. But x raised to negative 1, eh, we don't know. Okay? So, this is again the three restrictions for having um, polynomials, okay? The next one, we have different classifications of polynomials. And these are actually just, you know, easy classification. And this classification would fall under the number of terms. Ibig sabihin ko, ilan yung terms na nasa, nandun, uh, belonging to that certain polynomial. And we do this, we did discuss about the terms, that the terms can be counted if and only if there is no multiplication or division. Okay? For example, we have this one. I'm sorry, but why is it two? Okay, one. Say I have um, x. This is under one term. This is a one-term polynomial, and this one is called a monomial. Right? This one is also considered as a monomial. Why? Because there is multiplication here. So, this is one term. You can consider this one as a monomial. So, again, we can only count the terms if and only if there is no multiplication or division. Next ex next example. We have x plus 2. Okay? This one is called, would have two terms. Okay? And this one would be called a binomial. Okay, binomials are polynomials having two terms. Next one, we have x plus x squared minus 3. This would have three terms. And this would be called a trinomial. Okay. And lastly, we have, of course, um, multinomial or polynomial itself. 
there should be um, polynomials having four or more terms, more than three terms. So say we have um, 4x cubed plus x squared minus 3x plus 5. This should be four terms. This would be a multinomial or actually I don't call it as multinomial. I just call it as a polynomial. Okay? So that would be for the classifications of polynomials under the number of terms. And the last one would be uh, the classification of polynomials based on the degree. Polynomials based on degree. Okay? So polynomials based on degree would fall under, um, let's just classify them under, ano, under three. Tatlo lang muna, okay? So the very first one that we will be discussing would be linear. Okay? When we talk about linear um, polynomials, we are talking about polynomials having the highest degree, okay, the exponent, and let's just write here the given. Okay, the exponent being 1. If we have x plus 1, the exponent here is by default 1. So therefore, this one is a linear polynomial. Another example, we have um, 2y minus 3. Highest degree is 1. Okay? So by default, if you will not see an exponent, okay, that would be considered as a linear. Okay? Again, the highest exponent is 1. Okay, may it be like this one. Kasi maybe you may ask, sir, what if it is um, multiple exponent, um, variable? So, still, if the highest exponent is 1, then therefore, it's a linear polynomial. Okay, number 2, we have the quadratic. Yan. Quadratic. Under quadratic po, um, polynomials, the highest exponent must be 2. So, we can either have this one, 2x squared plus um, 3x is equals to 1. Highest degree is 2. Again, we are taking the highest degree, not the lowest degree. Kasi you may say, so this one has an exponent of 1, so this one is linear. But then again, the highest is of course 2. So therefore, that would be falling under quadratic. Okay. So even so, you have this one. still quadratic and again this one would be a circle but in any ways this is one is a quadratic okay but uh, no, this one this one is a special case so kindly disregard that but in any, any case again the highest exponent must be two okay next one the last one that we will be just needing would be cubic okay when we talk about cubic the highest exponent is three so for this case um, we have 2x cubed plus x is equal to 7. Cubic, highest exponent is simply 3. Okay? No more, no, no more, no less. So, this would be for the cubic. And that would be for the classification of polynomials based on the degree. Okay, there are a lot of degrees when it comes to polynomials. We can also have like the quartic and quintic, but we will not discuss that because it's irrelevant to your lesson or to your grade level, okay? So, the very last thing that we will be discussing regarding polynomials would be what we call similar terms. Yeah. Similar terms. Now, as for similar terms, let's um, make this clear. Similar terms are terms with same I will write this down Var yeah, variable n exponent and I, I, I was right I was supposed to write that in capital okay exponent and I am doing uh, writing this one big because I want this for emphasis only okay Terms with the same variable and exponent only. So I will give you examples of similar terms. We have 5x, negative 7x, 
2x, 4x, 1 half x, square root of 4x, 5 raised to negative 3x. They are similar terms. Why? Because we will be checking the variables. So let me ask you guys, what is the variable of 5x? Oh, of course, it's x. Variable, the literal coefficient. What is the variable of negative 7x? Oh, it's x. How about 2x? It's again x, sir. Then we have 4x, same. 1 half, it's x. And um, square root of 4x, it's x. And square root of uh, 5 raised to negative 3, it's still x. Long as the variable is x, we do not care. And I cannot uh, emphasize on this any more. We do not care about the literal uh, the numerical coefficient we are only talking about the literal coefficient not the numerical coefficient okay so i hope that is clear again not the numerical only the literal meaning only the variable and exponents for the variable okay so i cannot give any more emphasis on that i hope that you have understood that and then what do we do now to similar terms what we what we do to similar terms is we only evaluate so let me write that in white how to combine similar terms how to combine similar terms lagyan natin ng ano para kung para ma get so gani siya kadali how easy this is okay how to combine similar terms or dummies. Okay, so we combine similar terms. The rule would, would for that would be una, the very first one. Combine the numerical coefficient only under addition or subtraction. Okay, so we combine the numerical coefficients only under addition or subtraction. And lastly, what we do we do? We copy the variable. Take note, copy the variable. Okay, copy. When we talk about copy, you just simply write that thing again. First example, we have 5x and then we have negative 2x. Okay, we combine them under addition or subtraction, and basically it's just simply all addition lang, okay? So we take the numerical coefficient of this one, and then this one. So for this one, it's 5, and this one is negative 2. We combine, so we use addition. And 5 plus negative 2, the answer is 3. And lastly, copy the variable. Sorry, that's... that's copy the variable, which is of course just simply x. That's not hard, class. That is not difficult at all. Okay? So, another one. Say we have um, 1 half x squared. And then we have negative 3 x squared. What do we do? We take the numerical coefficient. Negative uh, 1 half and negative 3. Then we add them together. And adding 1 half plus negative 3. That is just simply like subtracting negative 3 with 0 0.5. The answer is 2.5 or, wait lang, let me subtract this one properly. This is over 1. This is 1 minus 6 over 2. This is negative 5 over 2. This is the fractional answer. And then copy the variable Sorry, let me, baka sabihin nyo, mal, uh, mali yung bigay ko. Variable and exponent. Okay, copy the variable and exponent. So, this would give you negative 5 over 2x squared. Your final answer. And that is how you combine similar or like terms. Okay? So, that would be the end of our discussion. Just two examples because it's very easy. Thank you again for listening everyone and assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.